A survey conducted on Monday and Tuesday found nearly two-thirds of American adults were sympathetic to people who are out protesting right now. A fewer than 30 percent th said they were not, and the rest were unsure. More than 55 percent of Americans said they disapproved of Trump's handling of the protests, including 40 percent who strongly disapproved. Just one-third said they approved, and that's lower than Trump's overall approval rating. So how has the president responded? Here's a review. These are America's most widespread protests calling for racial justice in a half century. Unrest has erupted from coast to coast, reaching to every corner of the country, and scars extended even to buildings near the White House. President Donald Trump has threatened to fix things by sending in the U.S. military, blaming state governors and local officials for failing to get tough. If a city or state refuses to take the actions that are necessary to defend the life and property of their residents, then I will deploy the United States military and quickly solve the problem for them. In the Rose Garden address Monday, Trump cast himself as an ally of peaceful protesters against the noise of flashbang grenades and tear gas unleashed on streets just outside the White House gates. I am your president of law and order. The president also warned that his government will have no tolerance for violent protests and vowed to crack down on what he called hoodlums, thieves and thugs responsible for the unrest. My administration will stop mob violence and will stop it cold. The National Guard has stepped up its response. There are now over 17,000 National Guard troops deployed in 23 states and Washington, D.C. At least 40 cities have imposed curfews, including New York, Los Angeles, and Chicago. But the president's threats and actions have so far failed to quell the unrest. Riots have frequently flared up after nightfall with tensions reaching boiling point as protesters destroy businesses and damage landmarks. Washington, D.C.'s mayor has criticized President Trump's response to unrest. I think that the president has a role to play nationally in calming um, the, the unrest that we see in cities across America. Uh, and I think the, at the least, um, he has to not incite um, violence, uh, and that's what we would expect. As angry protests rage across the country, President Trump has answered with aggressive rhetoric. Many worry that the deeper social issues the unrest highlights are far from being addressed. Go Tianqi, CJTN.